Welcome to another video on the TTRPG AP production step. I'm DC and today we're going to go over production. Let's start off with the production checklist. Now here it's fairly straightforward. It's just meant to get you through because this is going to be done on the day of production. So get through this and then for your call time we have the pre-stream producer checklist. Click that and in your 30 minutes, 45 minutes, whatever you have before the show, quick checklist to go through and make sure you have all your bases covered. When you're ready for a new checklist, just like in the pre-production, click new producer checklist. The one comes up at the bottom to delete. Just drag in an empty space. Like so, drag it, highlight it all, hit delete to get rid of it. And to change this list, if you need to add or remove anything, click the edit button. And you can add and remove whatever you want. Make sure you hit done when your changes are complete. So that the next time you hit this button, the list pops up as you would like it. Okay, so that was the production checklist and the pre-stream producer checklist. Now we get into the meaty bit of the production portion. And here we are in the episode info page. When you need a new episode info page to pop up, click the button and a new one will come up full screen. I already have generated one, so we'll click into that. And here's our old pal instructions. Once again, click the arrow and get list of instructions. And once this video is done, a link to it will go right here. All right, so here's where you put in your episode name or maybe the season number and episode number. Change that. And these are fields for records, show title, episode title, episode number, recording date, so forth, episode summary and locations used, our toggle list, just click them, start filling in the info. And right here, we have a new cast and crew database designed to be used for just this episode. So when you're ready to create a new entry, click the button, it opens a page, and now the episode role here will be the whatever you title this here. So let's put in producer, name, this field will pull from the database you made in pre-production. So I pull me up, characters will pull from the character database you created in pre-production. Now the roles, if you want to change views in this database, you will have to reassign the roles. So I was cast, crew, producer, and maybe I wasn't the DM this time. So we'll leave that out. And then you just close it like so. And you have another entry and the different views of cast, crew. And like in the previous database, if you have added a cover picture, can click gallery and get the entries there. And this is episode role because in Notion, whatever this first thing is, will always be the untitled bit in the database. I could move this around. I can't hide this in Notion and it will always relate to this field here. So I made it a uh, field just for the episode role. If it happens to be different than the normal, you can leave it blank if you want to. Just make sure if you need to use the views that you tag the roles appropriately. And to get rid of stuff, get rid of the blank one, get rid of mine, just hover over there, click the check marks, hit the trash can, and they go away. Below that is a space for your episode notes, space for the encounters that happen, your sponsor list, and a special thanks list. And below that is a table for a bunch of show info, and then... That's where some magic comes in. What you can do is go into this upper right hand corner here. And click on these three dots. Go down to export. And you can export as a PDF in HTML or in Markdown. And when you click that to export this as a PDF, you now have a record of what happened during this episode. And you can use this information for archival purposes, if you later create a wiki or you want to add stuff to a transcription, you now have that information available to you. 
Also, if you don't want to clog up the page with 100 episodes, feel free to export and get rid of the ones you don't need as long as you've created a record of it and made that available somewhere for you. So keep preserving the information of your shows. All right, so that's the production step. Come back to the next video to wrap up with post-production. Thank you all for being here. See you next time.